Story in Virginia, the Commonwealth is one step closer to banning the death penalty. Both the state house and the Senate signed legislation to abolish it. And John Henry is covering that for us. The Virginia Interfaith Center for Public Policy is in a celebratory mood. We believe this is a huge portion in the fight to um, really start correcting some historical wrongs here in the Commonwealth. Reverend Dr. Lakeisha Cook and the center held vigils calling for an end to the death penalty. Cook says she opposes capital punishment for moral reasons and because of historical connections to lynching and slavery. I mean, we believe in human dignity as people of faith. We believe in redemption. And so for us, you know, we were fighting on a couple of different levels. Virginia Democrats say close to 1,400 people have been executed in the Commonwealth since 1608. The American Bar Association claims in the modern era of the death penalty, Virginia has executed the second highest number of people in America. One of Virginia's highest profile executions was that of Beltway sniper John Allen Muhammad in 2009. But the Commonwealth hasn't executed anyone in the last three years. What happened today is the victims were forgotten and I think that's really unfortunate. Virginia Beach delegate Jason Miares is a former prosecutor. He opposes ending the death penalty. He's concerned proposed reforms like these could lead to loosening other laws down the line. Ultimately, you're going to have Virginians that are going to be victims because somebody that otherwise should have been behind bars is going to be back on our streets. Officials say only two people sit on Virginia death row right now. The governor said this week he plans to sign the bill. John Henry, WUSA 9.